everyone welcome back once again to my youtube channel victoria physics and uh, today we will learn how to make a d flip flop using nand and not ic gates and here is the circuit diagram that is being implemented in this breadboard and i'll explain each of the steps i just uh, made the circuit previously and i'm just explaining it this is my uh, nand ic and this is my not ic okay so just follow the figure uh, from the NAND IC, the first gate, uh, the first terminal that is pin number one is being connected to pin number one of NOT gate. So pin number one of NAND IC is being connected to pin number one of NOT IC. This white, black color uh, wire is connecting that. And you bring out a wire so that you can just move the uh, D uh, from 0 and 1 okay the next is 2 and 4 is being connected and it will be connected to a clock so I have connected this 2 and 4 via this red wire this short one further then is the 3 goes to uh, the output of the first NAND gate goes to the output of the next NAND gate so output of this that means 3 goes to 9 so I have made 3 goes to 9 over here and after that uh, the 10 will be connected to 11 so 10 and 11 are connected via this red wire and 12 is being connected to uh, 8 so 12 is connected to 8 via this wire and 6 and 13 are connected so 6 and 13 this is 6 and 13 are connected you can see this wire the 7 is connected to ground this is connected to 14 pin number 14 is connected to the power supply uh, the positive supply of the line and after that you you can see these two wires i have brought out these two wires is that because 8 will give you q so from 8 i have brought out this red color wire and that gives me this this uh, yellow led will glow if q value is given and from 11 i have uh, attached another led and that will that is this one the red one so q is yellow and q bar is red so this is the basic circuit of d flip flop uh, using a nand ic and a nor ic and the two table you can see it will be followed in this manner i'm just moving this i'll connect it the two table is that without clock pulse it will retain the memory and once i apply clock pulses it will be accordingly i'll show it okay so let's uh, apply the clock pulse you can see i have connected the clock to two pin number two because two and four was connected and I'll just switch on the power supply and I'll gradually show you okay so I'm on this thing and there is something over there this is the memory when there is no clock pulse sorry for the disturbance when there is no clock pulse and you have memory so this one is the uh, position and when I will apply a clock pulse and the value is a 1 I'll have Q as 1 and Q bar as 0 okay so uh, now if I make this as 1 so if I make this as 1 okay and I apply a clock pulse what will happen I will see that if one is there in D and if I apply a clock pulse Q will provide me one and Q bar will be zero okay so I'm applying a clock pulse so you can see Q is glowing and Q bar is zero now let's make this opposite so I apply zero and I press the clock pulse so what do I see now as per the truth table Q is not glowing and Q bar will be glowing so Q is not glowing and Q bar is glowing so D flip flop is satisfying the truth table the circuit is then proved okay 
I hope it is quite clear. You can make the circuit, take a screenshot from this and implement your circuit in the breadboard. If you have any kind of queries, feel free to ask me. I will uh, definitely help you out, okay?